Welcome back to another episode. We're in Costa Rica right now, and we are going fishing on that boat. Wait, not that one. This one right here. We got the guys ready. They said we're gonna try to catch big rooster fish. I got some big snapper, bona fide world guy, Charlie's here. Buenos dias, and bienvenidos a quepos. Estas listos? Okay, I see. Remember? Like we practice. You gotta do it like we practice see. for the intro, right? Vamos a pescar. Vamos a pescar. You got it. No, no, we gotta pescayo. do it. Pescayo. Yo quiero pescayo. <laughs> Remember, it was, uh, do the practice. There we like go. Like this. Que estamos... <laughs> Shardy. <laughs> que estamos haciendo hoy? Vamos a pescar. Para que? A para pescayo grande. Para pescayos. Vamos a pescar para pescayos. Esto es mi amigo. George. George. Jorge. Jorge. Y Zachary. Diggory, perfect. We ready? We're ready. Almost okay, perfect. Us. They got some yeah, bait back here already. Right here. The bait fish. Big fish. How do you say bait? Okay. It's a palometa. Palometa, granadas. And I broke the boat, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, no problem. I'm not the first person to do that. So we're heading out. Is it a panga we think or no? This is a panga. We're heading out on the panga here. We walked up yesterday with Charlie. So I wonder what boat it is. I said, probably the one with the cowling off. Because he is notorious for going on boats that break down. And it was, but they got it going. They said it was a relay, so crisis averted. Do you think that's us? That's definitely us. And you know how I know that? Because I'm the one who chartered the boat. And if I charter the boat, it's guaranteed to be broken. Hopefully they'll fix it tomorrow. Hearted. Osmac fishing, here we go. There is a little bit of a language barrier. I don't speak much Spanish. Charlie's pretty good at it. <laughs> but there's one of our reels right there. Old classic pen spin fisher 650, which now they would call a 6500. Ready to roll though. Tenemos tiempo y tenemos carnada. Una cosa muy importante, si? Muy importante. Ellos conocen. So we just ran about an hour. They got the sabiki rigs ready. We already have some live bait in the well that we showed you back at the dock, and they caught. But now we're gonna try to get some sardines, which I think will be more like a herring. They kind of call a lot of small bait fish in here. Sardines or sardinas. So we got two sabiki rods ready, and there's a couple boats up here, and it sounds like we're gonna rooster fish in the same area. So we'll get some more baiting. Be rooster fishing in no time. Right, Charlie? I've been waiting for this moment. We're ready to go. The bait, though, is the most important thing. Seems like they're getting them pretty good over here. And since Nicholas is a sabiki expert, I have no doubt this is gonna go according to plan. Do you think they have a D hooker? Don't they just use like a little hook around here? I think they just use the hand. Is that a paper clip or they just grabbed that thing? They grabbed it last time. My palm's away. Let's see them on the garment in there, some bait fish. Just like at home, bait is the most important thing. So we need some bait. Oh, it's a thread fin. It's like a thread fin sardine. Yeah. That's a weird looking bait. All right, 50 more to go. Yeah. All right. We should have brought our de-hooker. I know. If we had a de-hooker, this would have made this 10 times right. faster. I remember that last time. I got Geno, huh? I got Geno, huh? Oh, he's got a whole stringer. There you go. Triple. Uh, triple and a quadruple. Yes. How many think we got? We definitely got at least three dozen off of that. It was a hustle. We call that the bait hustle here in Costa Rica. But fortunately, Nicholas was there to get those baits off the hooks. We should start a wholesale market for bait de-hookers down here. We could sell at least five of them right here. At least. Each boat needs two really, so it could be eight. We finally found our calling after all this time. <laughs> hookers. Don't we, we know a guy who does that? If we make one dollar per hooker, we sell eight today, that's eight dollars. We're killing it. We could pay for a lot of empanadas with that. <laughs> all right, so we've got a bunch of bait so far. Barracuda. Oh, uh, no. Barracuda bit a sabiki rig in half. A couple more baits over there. Boats over there, too. Right, here comes another stringer. I got it. All right, that's enough of the bait I'm fishing. We'll see you as soon as we put them out. We need a big Pez Gallo. So we're going to fish.
it's right along the edge of the beach here. You can see the waves breaking. The water's a little dirty, but Cam just said they like the dirty water. That's where the rooster fish like to be. So along the beach here. One is going out. So we're gonna use the outriggers and gonna slow troll them. These are the outriggers here. They spread the lines out so they're to the side of the boat. We'll probably have one on this side, one on that side, maybe one or two straight back too. See, perfect. That's my route, he said. I think. Come on, one of the pen, the lucky pen with the ugly stick. And we'll see what happens. We're gonna troll them around here so we get a bite. Fishing circle hooks. Looks like a 6 0 or 7 0 must have circle hook. The waves breaking on the beach there. They gave Charlie the big bait, Grande Carnarda. Yeah. I got on the sardine. Slow Not trolling. Sardine. Waiting for a bite. Charlie, what did that boat just catch? It caught a catfish, man. Un pez gato. We saw that boat in front of us finding a fish. We thought it was yeah, a yeah. snooker rooster, but yeah, it's a catfish. Yeah, yeah. Cat daddy. We're still waiting though, slow trolling around. About 45 minutes in, no bites yet for us. One little shark biting. Did have another either shark or snapper bite one. Just came back with a head. No bites for me. We'll see what happens. Beautiful hair though. Very scenic. Ooh, the sharky. Oh. Shark. See the shark. See the shark. See the shark. The little black tip swim up and stole his bait. They said when the tide changes, the fish might pick up. They got pelicans there too. I got it. Charlie is hooked up. What do you think it is? I don't know. He's staying down. Catfish? No! Oh, there's Gato! Oh no! No! Oh, that's Gato. Oh my god! Oh yeah. Uh, that's a long way to come to catch catfish. Oh no! Nicholas, we caught a catfish! Catfish Charlie. <laughs> Don't tell anybody that. It's not okay. <laughs> Hold on. Grande. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Oh. Get up. <laughs> Good job, Charlie. We're not skunks. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Back in my cat daddy. Yeah. Oh, come on. I lost him. <laughs> what happens? You got more, more time. Sure. Oh, man. No. Is this, is this, this a snapper? snapper. Is that a snapper bite? Yeah. Snapper bite. Really? Yeah. yeah. I missed a snapper bite. <laughs> I was premature. You didn't eat my bait all the way. Yeah, I got him. Got it? Yeah. Got it? <laughs> Please don't be a catfish. Cat daddy. Please don't be a catfish. Uh, it's it's got some weight to him. Think snapper? Yeah, maybe. Come on. Oh, grande no. catfish. No. Nice cat daddy. <laughs> no. Oh, nice catfish. Catfish Charlie. Uh, you want to eat that? <laughs> Charlie. I'm ashamed of myself. Oh, we I came go. all the way down here, survived the waves, and I'm catching trophy catfish. See? Unbelievable. Yep. He said the I boat over there just got a rooster, a pez gallo. We need a gallo. We need a pez gallo. Look at that catfish. That would be a big snow. Oh, it's snow, it's snow. It's snow. Ah. He's no, gone, no, he's no, gone, he's 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 Snook, 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 snook,
We were onto a snook. Whatever. Whatever. We got the elusive snook on. Can you see in Spanish? El robalo. El robalo. We need this fish. Take your time. Oh yeah. <laughs> On the cabeza. Yeah! 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 Caught a couple of catfish, thanks to Charlie. Missed a bite or two, we did lose one other snooking. Just got one here. Finally in the boat. No Pez Gallos yet, but we got a nice snook. First Pacific snook I've ever caught. So Amazing. Beautiful. Hope you're hungry. Do we eat this? Is this comida? Comida? What? Dinner? Come what? We got dinner, We got yes. dinner, all right. Dinner. Nice. See? Let's get him on the ice there. All right, there we go. Beautiful fish. All right. Good job, Oscar. Yeah. Uh, 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 remember. You see? No, maybe? Yeah. Bueno. It's dirty. We got him. We got him. We're on the board. It's not on the nice. wave. Look the wave. Oh, big wave coming. Nick, let's get this in the air. Let's do it. We ran about six, seven miles. Caught one more fresh bait on the way here. Saw a lot of sardines, but they want to bite. But there's a lot of frigates here, frigate birds. And they're fishing too. And they're fishing up there. Bird on. We need a rooster, Pez Gallo, or a big snapper would be cool too. Down we go, 100 feet here. So we give this spot about 35, 40 minutes. No bites. No fish, saw one book at Corral Jack, but uh, it's a cool looking area. Big rocks, big swell coming in. But it's a little tough for all the fishing today. We didn't get scum, we got a snook in the box. Charlie got two big catfish. It ain't over yet, we still got a lot of time left. We're not done yet. There's a very famous phrase at Bud and Mary's, and that is, you're one bite away from being a hero. We have time. Tenemos tiempo hoy. We have time. We just ran a long way. Let's take a little snooze on the bow. Huh? Hot, tired, a little sick. We still have a little bit of time left. Yeah. Get him, Charlie. Okay. Oh. Is it a rooster? Is it a rooster? No. A hound fish. A hound fish. A hound fish. A hound no. fish. That's just a little Trash bit better than a catfish. Fish. Catfish. Oh, it's a trophy hound fish. Hey. Oh my god. Watch out, watch out. Oh, no. 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 Oh. no fish oh, extreme. That is a hound fish of a lifetime. Oh, it's wowzers. Dios mio. 
<laughs> oh, you've got him build. <laughs> Charlie, need a picture of that one. Yes. Meow, meow. He owes me a puppy. Oh, what a houndfish. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. That a grande houndfish. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I came here for. Some people want to catch marlin. Some people want to catch sailfish. I go for trophy houndfish. Oh yeah, grande houndfish. That's the biggest one I've ever caught. Without question, hands down, it's the biggest houndfish I've ever caught in my life. Yes. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Un beso. Bye bye, buddy. Yeah, big one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, grand. <laughs> grand on fish. Good job. Very nice. <laughs> yes. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. This is what it's come Rica. down to. This is what it's come down to. Costa Rica. Who needs sailfish? Forget a sailfish. It's all about the houndfish. Houndfish and catfish. You know Charlie. what? If you're not catching houndfish, you're not even fishing. That's the true story. I'm, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm done. <laughs> so we're fishing just on the edge of the break here. But the Pez Gallos, the roosterfish have eluded us today. But it turns out Oscar's son watches some of our videos. So we give him a shout out. But we just got the houndfish of a lifetime. Charlie got two big catfish and I got a nice snook. My first Pacific snook and he's in the cooler. I don't know if we're cooking him or taking him somewhere to get cooked, but we're gonna take you on a little more of the Costa Rican experience as well, besides just fishing. We're gonna show you the central market of San Jose, right Charlie? That's right. The central market, you have to see that. All the fish in there. And the goodies. We also went surfing one day. My first time. I tried it a couple times years ago, but never on a long board down here in Costa Rica. I tried in Miami 20 years ago, 25 years ago. On a short board. I didn't do very good, but I actually surfed and got up on a couple waves here. And so did Charlie, but he surfed before. That was in Jacko Beach, which I think they pronounce Hako. We call it a Jacko Beach. And uh, we will show you our rental house in Manuel and was it Manuel Antonio? Manuel Antonio. Manuel Antonio. All sorts of wildlife around there. Big birds, cats, dogs, and some monkeys. But we have a little time left to fish. You can see some people on the beach there with a dog. And the waves are breaking. Hoping for one big bite before the day's over. We didn't get the big rooster, but we tried. Had fun. Two catfish, pescatos, one big houndfish, and one big snook. We're saving these for the marina pet. So there's a big rooster that lives in the marina. We'll see you back in there. Time to fillet the fish for dinner. We gotta have some fish for dinner. And I know the guy who's here to clean it for us. Jordan's gonna get it for us. Get in there. He's got a super sharp cuchillo. Guts and gills, Nicholas. Oh, Guts yeah. and gills. <laughs> so we're gonna bring the fish home and fillet it. Well, hopefully there's a knife in the jungle house. So we're gonna put him on our back on a stick and walk out. <laughs> and a snook on our back. <laughs> our baby. All right. So this is Capos, Marina Pez Vela. A lot of big boats in here. There's some big yachts. Look at that charter boat right there. And years ago I was here. There's giant rooster fish, no big, big rooster fish in the marina that would eat the bait right out of your hand when you're filleting the fish. So there's some charter boats here and there's a lot of privately owned boats too. And that seems to be the case kind of in both these marinas we've been to before, Los Suenos and then here in Marina Pazela. I have a fish. Perfect. Thank you guys. You're welcome. Thank you so much. We'll see you all next time, okay? Nice see you soon. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay, there you guys go, thank you. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye. All righty, we'll see you next time. So we've got our fish in the bag and we are heading home. Hopefully there's a decent knife there to clean it with. That was a lot of work, huh? That was a lot of work for a snook. Yeah, but you got two cat daddies and a hound dog. I am proud of those catfish, I must say. I'm very proud of that. So we're going to see how it works. All right, we'll see you back at the house. 
and we're gonna hopefully find a place that'll cook this up for us. So, this is our jungle house here. Two bedrooms, two baths. And we're gonna clean the snook right down there. I thought they were gonna clean up the boat, but they did not. Welcome to the jungle crib. This is the place in Manuel Antonio, and we're gonna clean a fish and ruin it. <laughs> Show them the house, Nicholas. All right, so there's no AC in the house, actually. There's AC in one bedroom, and luckily I got that bedroom. But here's one of the beds in here. Charlie's room. It is a little warm. And here's mine. Let's see. I did not make the bed this morning. We have our luggage there. But big giant shower and bathroom. Nice closet. The baño and all that. But anyhow, we have to go clean that snook. We stopped by the Happy Pig, I believe it's called. And we went there. Is that what it's called, Happy Pig? Cerdo Feliz, the Happy Pig. And I uh, negotiated our dinner. So they're gonna clean, they're gonna cook the fish for us, but we can't show up with a whole snook. So we gotta clean this thing and bring them a filet and, and you know, we'll figure it out from there. There you go, so this is the nice humble abode. The other bathroom's over here. I'm turn the light on this so you can see it, but pretty cool. Little jungle house here. Backyard's neat. Let's see if I can figure out how to open it. This. And right up here is where the macaws were. I believe they're macaws. And I'll show you that video from yesterday. Is that a monkey? We have a monkey up there. Hanging out. I hear a cat meowing. A baby monkey on the monkey. You know what that is? It's a baby monkey on the monkey. Oh, it is a little tiny monkey with his tail. Look at that. It's a mama and baby monkey. There's another one. And there's monkeys swinging in the trees over here. And this is it. So a cool place to relax and uh, you know, quiet little uh, town here. The snook was leaking juice out of the ice bags. So we're gonna try to do it without making too much of a mess in the house. But here we go, one, two, three. We have Snook and Manuel Antonio. It was the first time for everything. So here we go. Catch and cook in the jungle. Have a knife. Oh, thank you. You can hear the kids running by. But we found two knives. They're not perfect, but they're going to have to work. Because the other knives are butter knives. But we are going to fillet them just like usual. And this little drainage pipe here, so all this bloody water hopefully will go right down there. It's coming through. Not the sharpest knife, but it'll work. We'll make do. And we're gonna bring some extra fish there. And, you know, Charlie stopped by the Happy Pig and, oh boy. <laughs> and they said, try that let one. me try this one. <clears throat> Actually, it was worse. They said they will cook what we want, and then we'll give them the rest of the fish. They have some fish themselves. But we worked very hard for this snook. The team on the boat, though, was super nice. Very friendly, and uh, we didn't. We just didn't find the rooster fish. But you know that I fish at home for a living too, all those years. And sometimes things just don't go as planned. You got to make do with what you got, and that's what we did. But happy to get this snook because it was the first one I've ever caught in the Pacific. It looks good. Meat looks really good. At home, you know, snook's a pretty fatty fish, so I assume it's similar here. Not too bad though. We did pretty decent there especially considering the tools we're working with. I'm sure all the little critters out here are gonna have a field day with little remnants. Lots of bugs here in the jungle, ants, and all those good things. Let me ask if I can split this filet. And we'll just show you the one side of it because the other side will be the same thing. Go the other side there and have ourselves a feast tonight. We will see you at the Happy Pig in about an hour and a half we're going there. This is the steepest hill in Manuel Antonio, and of course the happy pig is up at the top of it. We're almost to the happy pig. Awesome. We have our fish. The happy pig. Rum, rum, rum. Rum, 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 rum. The happy pig, right? You ready, Nicholas? I think this is it. Hola, amiga. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
We're here at Cerdo Feliz, that means the happy pig in Spanish. This is a local soda, and in Costa Rica they have sodas, which are the local restaurants where they cook all this amazing food. So I had to sweet talk these people into cooking for us. They were a little fancy about it, but uh, we got it sorted. We're gonna have some sour sop smoothies, guanabana smoothies, which are very good for your stomach, and they're gonna put together a whole big casado, which is a traditional Costa Rican plate for us. So Nicholas is really excited, and we make it some patacones tambien. All right, we're not gonna film them cooking it, but we're gonna eat it and tell you how the snow turns out. Robola. Robalo? Robalo. Robalo. So, important life lesson for all you famous YouTube fans out there. No matter where you go in the world, always learn a little bit of the language. You don't have to learn much. Please, thank you, be able to count to 10, and just be nice. This is a soursop smoothie. Tell them it's a soursop smoothie or guanabana. Guanabana, guanabana? This is a guanabana smoothie. This is a guanabana smoothie. Sour sap, they call it. Very good. We had one last night too. Pretty Put it on tasty. The list to try. Delicious. Oh man. Delicioso. This is one of my favorite drinks. You can't beat it. It's refreshing and it's good for your stomach. I can't recommend it enough. Is that your first time having sour sap? I think it is my first time having sour sap. Would you drink it again? 100%. We had it last night and again tonight. Delicious. Can't go wrong here. It's all about the fresh fruit in Costa Rica. What's this? These are called patacones. Patacones is a fried green plantain that's been pressed in this amazing format, and it just so happens that Cerdo Feliz has the best patacones in Manuel Antonio. If you get a chance to have these, don't pass it up. We also need some of their custom homemade hot sauce, which is made with maracuya, which is passion fruit, and these little special peppers that grow in the jungle. Super intense. We'll keep the hot sauce for Charlie. But these are delicious, we had them last night too. This is the sauce. You can see it's kind of goopy in here. It's made with ground or pureed passion fruit, all kinds of peppers. There's something else in here I can't quite place, but it is just thermonuclear. Highly recommend. Hot. <laughs> it's good for you. Good, good, clear out. Is out of the, out of the fish has arrived. If that's not a magnificent meal, I don't know what is. That is fresh Pacific snook, cooked specifically for Nicholas and I to enjoy. Looks like it's got a nice little orange sauce on there as well. Absolutely spectacular. Costa Rican snook right there. Roballo, right? Absolutely. Roballo, little orange sauce on it. Cooked to perfection. Looks delicious. Now we're gonna try it out and see. Give us a little description there. More than the of, very good. It's a... Uh, Juicy, kind of fatty, I would say, but nice little sauce on there, a little bit of citrus, uh, citrus-based sauce, I would say. Seared, not overcooked, and uh, a little crisp end on it, so. Perfect. Go to town, sir. You deserve a big dinner after a day at sea. We worked very hard for that snook. We did, that was a lot of work. We got rice and beans, salad, snook, and I think we're gonna get chocolate cake for dessert. <laughs> we had a camera malfunction. We need your opinion on the snook again one more time. My first time having snook in over a decade. The citrus sauce in a fish that is prepared a la plancha, which is a very traditional Costa Rican style of cooking. It's called a casado, which is like a fixed plate. It is absolutely magnificent. It's a very light, buttery, fatty, rich meat, kind of similar to tile fish, but I would say a little bit better, a little bit better. Similar to golden tile, but it kind of just has this very I would say savory essence to it that I absolutely love. Tell me about them beans now too. So, you can judge a soda in Costa Rica based on the beans. And these beans are made with a variety of spices. It's got some roasted pork in there. It's got some rosemary. It's got some bay leaf. It has some fresh pepper. It's really just a magnificent combination. Just a super savory flavor. We're leaving the happy pig and we're fat and happy, right? We have what's called a tanque lleno, which means a full tank here at this magnificent establishment. They did a really nice job. What do you think? Solid meal? Highly recommend it. If you're in Manuel Antonio, check it out. Cerdo Feliz, right? Cerdo Feliz, baby. Cerdo Feliz. The happy pig. All right, it's time to go home, get some shut eye, and to Dominical tomorrow, right? We are onwards to the promised land of Dominical to surf our faces off. And I've only ever surfed for one day, so day two coming up. Welcome to Dominical, Costa Rica. We just stayed in the Hona Beach Hotel right here. And this is like a quiet little surf town. It's uh, really cool. We got here yesterday afternoon, we went surfing. And you might be wondering why I'm wearing a tank top. I thought it was tank top Tuesday, but it's Sunday. 
Gonna lose time here in Costa Rica. But uh, remember, we're doing our huge spring sale on Stance Fishing Gear. And if you want any performance shirts, all of our stuff for the month of March is 50% off on the website for all of our gear from the last couple of seasons. We got new gear coming, but head to the website, stansfishing.com. Go save you 50% on a bunch of our hats, performance shirts, cotton shirts, and all that good stuff. I'm gonna show you around town here real quick before we leave. We're heading back to the city today, and then we fly out tomorrow to go back home. But uh, had a great trip fishing with those guys, got that big snook. And let me show you around town here in Dominical and uh, whatnot. So <clears throat> a lot of people come here and they actually camp out. You can see a number of tents over here. And it is very hot here. I believe it was well over 100 degrees yesterday. And our rooms had AC in the hotel, which was super nice. But you got some tents out here, a beautiful beach there with the waves breaking. And tons of artwork here. So yesterday afternoon, there was a bunch of artists set up here. And I believe it's just on the weekends it is art show. I could be wrong, but I think just Saturdays and Sundays. But gorgeous work here in Costa Rica. There's a nice one there, the sailfish and a marlin. Little reef scene. Like the birds we saw there and Manuel Antonio. The macaws, but really cool hair and whatnot. And I can see this being a good place to bring a family. You know, you got the beach there, the kids can play in, you can surf, you got a number of bars, restaurants here right on the little strip. Plus you can walk about a quarter mile into town. But lots of artists, lots of jewelry. Good morning. morning, how are you? Good, how's it going? Good. Look, we have really nice t-shirts. Those are nice. These are made with uh, uh, bleach. Sorry. Yeah? Check it out. How much are they? Quantos? $40. $40, 40 okay. Yes, look, it's personalizado. It's cotton. It was nice. I made. With bleach? I do, yeah. You do I the do, design work? I do uh, for uh, Hero. They are. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Well, think about it. Yes, uh, it's um, a different. Uh, right. It's a mystic, but. Uh, That's you guys, Arte yeah. de la Costa? Uh -huh. Awesome. Me. Yeah. Looks good. And that's one of the bars and restaurants right there, Tortilla Flats. We had a little bit of lunch there before we went surfing yesterday. And I've only been surfing twice, once a couple days ago, and then once yesterday. And he did say that we could move on to the intermediates. So that was good. We've passed the basic beginner stages. And of course, I came all the way to Costa Rica. And I don't know if I found them or they found me. But I think you guys know what these are here. That's a swordfish bill made into a sword. It has a spada. And they have a few of them to choose from. All the way to Costa Rica, and I'm still looking at swordfish. Beautiful. And I wasn't sure why everyone wore tank tops here, but it's so hot here. I think people wear them because of that. And this goes on for probably another 150, 200 yards down this way. But a lot of cool stuff here, so check it out if you're in Dominical on a weekend. Plenty of stuff to shop for and get. And that's the way into town, which we walked into last night and had dinner. And last night we ate at the Fat Noodle, had a killer meal. The appetizer was a teriyaki ribs and that was delicious and then for dinner charlie had some pad thai and i had what did i have i had a stir fry chicken stir fry that was delicious too so fat noodle highly recommend it then we stopped by and hung out a couple other places but i'm gonna go show you the beach here and then i'll show you a little bit in uh san jose from that central market and then we'll probably wrap this video up and hope you enjoyed it so far We've got a lot more down there, but let's just go check the beach out real quick. And you do see sometimes a lot of the same stuff at different stands. Not always the custom stuff, but some of the stuff that's more mass produced. The sand gets probably like 110 degrees, I would say. Maybe more. It is very hot. So if you have sandals on, it's much better, more tolerable. But it's a beautiful beach here. And I feel like this is what Costa Rica is supposed to feel like. Still uh, not super commercialized and developed. Like some of the other places, which obviously are nice because they have the amenities that a lot of us are used to and like, but it's cool to come here and get more of a true Costa Rican experience, in my opinion. Gorgeous beach here, though. Look at the waves breaking out there. There's a few people out here surfing this morning. Big giant tree washed up here. The tides are huge here. The low tides to the high tides. I mean, I saw people have their 
all their clothes and all that stuff a couple days ago up the road just a little bit there in Hako, which we're calling Jacko Beach as a joke, but it's really Hako. The H is a ha sound. And they came running up and all their stuff got soaking wet. But luckily they didn't wash out to sea. And I'm not sure this is a jungle gym or a little workout area. But it looks like we can do some dips over there and some pull-ups over here. So let's get a couple in while we're here for good measure make sure we're in good health. pull-ups in and now I finally have a tank top for tank top Tuesday myself with a little sloth on it Ten will have to do it so we will see you guys back in San Jose and show you that central mark there because we went in the other day and had tons of fish some of it looked a little iffy but I uh, need to see there that uh, a lot of stuff in there too you know it's like a market so Everything from food to clothing and everything in between. But that's a quick tour of uh, the town here in Dominical in Costa Rica. So hope you enjoyed that and let's keep moving. Here's a little map of Dominical and what they have to offer. And all the uh, little businesses and restaurants and all that stuff and hotels. The fat and noodle, that's where we were last night and had dinner. Hey, the drone is, no dejas nada para que ellos tomen. Watch for thieves, leave nothing for them to take. And although I feel this is a pretty safe town, there's obviously still crime here, like pretty much everywhere in the world. So on the beach there, you do gotta be careful. You don't always wanna leave your belongings there. So you may wanna leave those in the room and just gonna go with a pair of sandals or a towel. Don't always take your phone or camera, leave it out there. We are gonna take you on a walking tour of an incredibly amazing central market here in the heart of the city. We're just getting started with our Costa Rica adventure for the week, but you don't really get to experience a culture unless you see the markets. And when you're in San Jose, it is absolutely the thing to do. It was a bit of a walk, but we made it. And now we are in the main shopping district downtown San Jose. The part that we are here to explore is the San Jose Central Market. And that's just up the street here. Those are beef tongues. They're delicious. See the fresh tongue? Ah, interesting. I like that. What the my mind? See. <laughs> How did I make it? Hey, I know that guy. Holy moly. Seems kind of familiar. That's too funny. Lookalike is uh, uncanny, actually. Oh, yeah. Chicken? There's a whole lot of wholesale chicken. You know what this is? That's stomach. It's called tripe, stomach lining. You can have that one. Cordero, got lamb. Those are beef tongues. They're delicious. See the fresh tongue? Ah, interesting. Oh yeah. They got the What'd you find? Um, last week, Claire asked for a bunny rabbit. And I told her if we won the Selva Sherman, we would get her a bunny rabbit. We didn't win the Selva Sherman. But there's three bunnies, or four bunnies down here. Oh, yeah. Five. Nice. We never had options to go shopping here. That is basically the uh, central market here in San Jose. We covered a pretty good 
A bit of ground. What's the point of the part though? This mill? Yes, mill. Yes, mill. Thank you. How much? Buenas. Buenas. por un par de rojo? Yes. ¿Y cuánto por eso? Un diez? Claro. Diez mil o no? Sí, me gusta. Oh, she said whatever you want. Let's go. Let's check it out. <laughs> okay, thank you. Well, good morning from the central coast of Costa Rica here on the Pacific side. Today, we're gonna do a walk on one of my all-time favorite parks. This is called the Rainmaker, but I assure you this is one of the more beautiful and peaceful places in the country. I'm not gonna talk too much because that would spoil the amazing beauty of this place. So enjoy the walk, check out the trees, the waterfalls, and the majestic elements which make the Rainmaker one of the most beautiful places in the country. Let's go. Look at how it's getting cooler. You're gonna go up through 13 different climates here. This is the Stan Fishing Mountaintop Edition. Bet you didn't know that Stan's performance athletic wear can be worn for hiking as well as fishing. was our introductory tour to the Rainmaker here in Pocares, Costa Rica. And here's a little update on the fish tank. We made it back home from Costa Rica. All the fish are still alive, which is a good sign. And Costa Rica was a blast. You know, just a little bit of fish in there. Hope you guys enjoyed the scenery there. The beaches were beautiful. Got to surf a couple days. Didn't get any video of it, but uh, it was the first time I ever really surfed. I tried years ago and was not successful on a short board, but we did two lessons there on long boards and uh, both the guys were from Argentina. And apparently quite a few people from Argentina moved from the cold weather up to Costa Rica where it's a bit warmer and uh, they were super nice. So really enjoyed that and uh, cool to see. We hopped around there. Charlie was a great guy. So go check out his channel, Bonafide World Guide. He's got a lot of travel videos on there. The fishing with Osmac was awesome. We didn't get a rooster fish. I did see the next couple days they did catch some, but hey, I got my first Pacific snook. So that was first ever. So happy to have that and can't complain about a couple el gatos and they were grande they were big so a couple catfish for charlie and a hound fish i think that's gonna wrap this video up i did get very sick the last night got terrible food poisoning don't know which meal i got it on but my last night there was brutal and i'm sure if you guys have traveled abroad before you've probably had food poisoning not all of you but some of you and it is miserable but i recovered from that that was three days ago and finally ate some food today and uh, getting back on track. So it was a last, rough last night there in Costa Rica. Our spring sale is almost over. So the end of March, it ends. Go to the website right now, stancefishing.com. You can save up to 50% off on all of our cotton shirts, our performance shirts, and the majority of our hats. So go check that out. The new gear is coming in about five or six weeks and we'll have all our new designs in stock, but uh, we're still a little, bit, a little bit out on those. So hope you enjoyed it there. Thanks for following along. Thanks for watching the end. Hit that subscribe button. And Captain Mike was out recently. He got a big swordfish one of his last trips, almost 300 pounds. So if you guys want to go on the broad mine of the 42 foot Freeman, shoot me an email or give the Marina office a call at Bud and Mary's and we'll get you set up there. So 
Um, Dawson was out there one, two, one day too with John and his buddies. They had a good sword, but the big sword, 296.8 pounds of Captain Mike, was the fish the last couple of weeks. So happy to see that. And springtime's here, and that's when the big swords come through here. So that's all I got for you. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. We'll see you all next time.